Well, good morning, everyone, and thanks again for joining me today as we continue to read through Scripture together. Uh, if you've been following me and reading along, we are going through the book of Romans, and today we are reading Romans chapter 5. And in Romans chapter 5, we see Paul really continuing to lay out the wonderful truths about the doctrine of justification by faith alone. And he tells us more of the work of our Lord Jesus Christ for us and the access that we have through him, being in him. And also he goes on to talk about the two Adams uh, and Christ being the second Adam. In the first Adam, we have death, but in the second Adam, we have life. And so let's learn these marvelous truths here as we read through together. Join me now and hear the word of God. Therefore, having been justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ, through whom also we have access by faith into this grace in which we stand and rejoice in hope of the glory of God. And not only that, but we also joy, glory in tribulations, knowing that tribulation produces perseverance and perseverance character and character hope. Now hope does not disappoint because the love of God has been poured out in our hearts by the Holy Spirit who was given to us. For when we were still without strength, in due time Christ died for the ungodly. For scarcely for a righteous man will one die, yet perhaps for a good man someone would even dare to die. But God demonstrates his own love toward us, in that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. Much more then, having now been justified by his blood, we shall be saved from wrath through him. For if when we were enemies we were reconciled to God through the death of his Son, much more, having been reconciled, we shall be saved by his life. And not only that, but we also rejoice in God through our Lord Jesus Christ, through whom we now have received the reconciliation. Therefore, just as through one man sin entered the world, and death through sin, and thus death spread to all men, because all sinned. For until the law sin was in the world, but sin is not imputed when there is no law. Nevertheless, death reigned from Adam to Moses, even over those who had not sinned according to the likeness of the transgression of Adam, who is a type of him who was to come. But the free gift is not like the offense, for if by the one man's offense many died, much more the grace of God and the gift by the grace of the one man, Jesus Christ, abounded to many. And the gift is not like that which came through the one who sinned. For the judgment which came from one offense resulted in condemnation. But the free gift which came from many offenses resulted in justification. For if by the one man's offense death reigned through the one, much more those who receive abundance of grace and of the gift of righteousness will reign in life through the one, Jesus Christ. Therefore, as through one man's offense, judgment came to all men, resulting in condemnation. Even so, through one man's righteous act, the free gift came to all men, resulting in justification of life. For as by one man's disobedience, many were made sinners, so also by one man's obedience, many will be made righteous. Moreover, the law entered that the offense might abound. But where sin abounded, grace abounded much more. So that as sin reigned in death, even so grace might reign through righteousness to eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen and amen. Praise God for his word here in Romans chapter 5. Praise God, indeed, for the life that his people have in Christ. 
and uh, we are so thankful for that. I hope you're blessed by the reading of his word today, and I hope you'll continue to join me next time as we read through Romans chapter 6. God bless you and your day. Take care, and we'll see you then.